and you had this great quote in why isolation is the secret to uniqueness, which is linked down below. And that is Japan is without doubt one of the most popular tourist destinations. It is a deeply memorable place to visit because it's different. It's weird. It's quirky. It's beautiful, of course. But there are many things about Japan that are just unforgettably unique compared to the rest of the world. Why? Japan is an island, not just geographically, but also psychologically, culturally, and spiritually. And the more isolated something is, the more different it becomes. This, this hit me really deeply because a huge part of my life has been with meditation and going inward. And when I started doing this, I realized how different I was in some aspects and allowed me to lean into that differentness. And so it's interesting that a country could also exhibit the same characteristics by virtue of where it was located. So what made you realize this? I was in Japan. I, I visited Japan for the first time in April. Um, so that's where that came from. I, I was very, uh, I was very shocked by the culture there in a good way. In a good way, I, I think I think there's a, uh, there's a part of me that really likes Japan. The part of me that's very um, orderly, very very quiet, very introverted that really likes Japan. Um, but yeah, th there's no other place like Japan in the world. Like European countries are pretty much, you know, like their borders literally align on the ground. Like they're very, some of them are very not distinct from one another, and the culture, you know, the the way that people sort of. Uh, express themselves quite similar depending on you know how north or south you go in europe but like i just don't think there's a single place that's that's similar to japan or on the same wavelength like in asia um you know in china korea i think china and korea are, are more like one another in singapore they're more like one another than than japan japan's like a weird cousin it's like the one that just just stands out it's different yeah yeah you said right. that thinking like where do they come up with these things <laughs> you said that part of you it appealed to but part of you i guess it didn't what was that part that it didn't appeal to you um i can see how japan can quickly in my imagination it can quickly become a dystopia mm -hmm. um for example like the, the suicide rates are incredibly high in japan and uh you know, sometimes on the train, on the train platform, um, it's so on the, first of all, on the train platform, every single door where, where the, the doors are going to open, people line up and everyone's wearing the same suit. Everyone's, you know, same, same posture. Their heads are like that. They're on their phone. Um, and like, it's, you know, it's like cookie cut made, cookie cut made people, cookie cut jobs, cookie cut routines. And sometimes you'll hear, you know, the, the announcer saying, we're going to have a delay because of like a incident or like an obstruction. But like everyone knows what's what really happened. Like it's not uncommon for people to jump onto the onto the tracks on on Japanese train stations. Um, so I do feel like Japan is dystopian in a sense because it's kind of like they're so bubbly and cute and, you know, animated on the front. But there's so much darkness going on behind. There's so much people who are you know they're they're trapped in this they're trapped in this life of going to work and the salary in japan for a white collar job is not that high compared to north america and they're not making you know a great living um there were less than one there was less than one million babies born last year in japan so people aren't dating they don't have they're not married they don't have a you know a life partner i think there's lots of things that's uh it, it could be quite depressing behind the scenes so I would say that, you know, as a foreigner and as someone who travels, it's cool to visit, but I have no idea what it's like to actually live there and be a resident. It's so interesting because it's almost like the dark side of isolation, right? Like isolation can bring uniqueness and interestingness and new insights, but it can also, you spend too much time in isolation. That's the mm -hmm. best way we currently know to imprison someone and to torture them. And so there's something really interesting there about how both are like, you need some isolation to get new ideas and to be different, but too much 
and you could go crazy. And that's not to insinuate that the reason why Japan is going through some of those struggles that you mentioned is because of isolation, but it could be an interesting storyline to draw through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, one of the, I think one of the telltale signs of, um, like, uh, especially for teenagers, that something is wrong, whether they're being bullied or, you know, they're they're having some very troubling thoughts is if they're alone for too long. Um, isolation is the beginning of a lot of very, very dark stories. Um, but I, I think in an age where, I think we're going full circle now, but in an age where there's too much information and it's actually harder to keep things out than let things in, I, I try to isolate more. I, I try I try harder for the first than the I'm so with you. And it's why my bio reads, go inward to find the truth. Because mm -hmm. in a world where everyone is consuming, consume information, listen to this podcast, watch this movie, watch. It's like you need time to understand what you think. Because otherwise you spend 50 years in the corporate job that you don't want to be in. And so I'm so grateful for you for spending the time here today explaining some of these ideas and for your first podcast ever you made it look easy so great job oh thank you <laughs> thank you so much danny um i like to end these podcasts with a challenge a challenge i ask of you to ask the audience to do something with the information that we've presented here today or something that we haven't covered to leave somebody with an action step of something that they should do to live a potentially better life and i'm curious if a challenge comes to mind challenge Ooh. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah here's a good challenge i think so the challenge i want to present the listeners of this episode is try to give up something really like for a month, two weeks, a month. Um, well, there's a few reasons for that. Number one is when you get to go back to that, you realize how much privilege you had that you, you were not, you were not intentionally ungrateful for, but you just, you didn't realize that you had it, so you, you had things so well for you. Um, and another reason is just that I think inducing a little bit of self-imposed suffering, kind of like a marshmallow challenge, you know, a little bit of waiting, a little bit of not getting what you want immediately. It just makes it feel better when you actually when you actually get it. It's it feels a lot more a lot more rewarding. I think the general challenge that a lot of people have today is that we we greatly overvalue what we don't have and we undervalue what we already do. Sometimes you think about how something you have today was what you really, really wanted three years ago. You know, I, I think especially at my age when um, in college you have a long wish list of things you wanted, but you don't actually get to buy them until you start, you know, making your own money and, you know, things get, yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. It's, it's like the things you have today, you don't even realize that this is what you wanted so badly that you would have saved all your allowance on as a child. And now you get it with such ease and you don't care about it anymore. And I think we can extrapolate that into the future, which is, well, what is something I have today that I'm taking for granted that I would kill to have when I am 20 years into the future? For a lot of people, that's health, right? Like I, I want the energy level I, I have today. I, I would never want to lose this. Well, then treat it with with greater care take greater care of yourself make sure you have that energy in the future 